Welcome to TEC2. I'm Dave Herman. I'm with Tech Support. We're going to go over setting up the blower speed on a standard PSC blower controlled furnace. This furnace we're dealing with today is a standard 80%. It's a two stage furnace, so we will have multiple speeds for the heat. Uh, on this, you're going to have a high heat and a low heat setting on your speeds, and then you will have your cooling speed. This motor on this furnace is a four speed motor, so you will have an extra one extra speed that will be hooked up to a spare terminal. As far as the speed settings go, depending on what you would need for the CFM to move enough air through the furnace, you would have to reference the product data and that would also be affected by the static pressure in the system. So there can be some differences as far as the airflow goes within the unit, but that would also have to be checked more thoroughly with static pressure and your information given with the furnace. Now we're in the blower section of the furnace. This is our blower assembly. This motor that we're dealing with here is a four speed motor. We have our four wires and then our fifth wire is our neutral wire. Our two brown wires coming from the motor go to our capacitor. Our capacitor is our motor assist. On the side of the blower housing, the motor is mounted. As far as the wiring goes, with our four speeds, one of the speeds is gonna be a spare. So it leaves us an option later if we need a different speeder and we have to change, which I spoke about earlier, referencing the CFM and the product data, depending on what we need to move air-wise. The motor uh, speeds themselves are marked on the board itself where we have to be for what speed. On the far left, we can see for our heat speeds, we have our high heat, our low heat, and then right next to it, we have where our black lead is right now is our cooling speed. On this motor, our black is our high, our yellow speed is our medium high, and our red is our low. The low is attached to our low heat, the yellow, which is medium high, is attached to the high heat, and our high speed black is on our cooling speed for our highest CFM output. And then the blue, which is the medium low, is on our spare terminal on the bottom of the board. So that is not being used at all. And then the white wire is on our neutral terminal, which is right above all those, which is also tagged blower on the neutral plugs on the board. As far as removing those uh, terminal wires to change them, you want to use some type of needle nose plier or a stripper with a pointy end get on the end of those leads and remove them gently. You don't want to damage the board. You just work them off. Some of them are tighter than others. Work them off, leave them to the side, and then whatever motor lead you're going to change to, in this case, we're going to take our blue for our low heat, and we're just going to move that for the sake of just changing it up a little bit. Our medium low speed is going to go on to our, our low speed heat and we're going to mount that on that terminal lead there. And then we're going to take the original low red speed and we're going to put that on our spare terminal. And that would be a matter of uh, any of the leads that you wanted to change to get the airflow you needed for the specific stage or uh, part of the system that you were using as far as your cooling or heating that would be all you needed to do to change those speeds. Now we've moved on to a furnace with an ECM motor. The motor specifically in this unit is a non-variable ECM motor, uh, what is usually called an X13 motor. This motor is run off 120 volts, so you're gonna have your wires coming from the motor uh, are gonna be a black and a white, they're going to attach to the board and that's going to be your power going to the motor. So you're going to have your, your line voltage coming from the board and then you're going to have your neutral wire. So that will be your line voltage feed to the motor. And then as far as your speeds go, on the side of the board, you're going to have your five speeds uh, that will control the unit. And of those five speeds, you'll also have a sixth wire in that bundle. That six wire is going to be your 24 volt common. The speeds on the X13 motor are 24 volt. So you're not going to see the line voltage like you would on a PSC motor. You will have 24 volts. 
As far as the connections, you know, similar to the other furnace also, sometimes it's hard to get the terminals pulled off. So you may want to use a pair of needle nose pliers or a pair of strippers. So you could work those off in case you have to change speeds. And this one will just pull the top one off. This is your uh, common wire from your 24 volts to remove. Normally we wouldn't be changing that one, but now you may be able to get a little better look in there. They will be tagged on the board for your heat speed and your cooling speed and a fan speed specifically on this model. So the way it's set right now, uh, the speed on your blue wire is set uh, on your heat. Your black is going to be your cooling speed and the red is your circulating speed, your fan speed. Those speeds can also be changed. You do have spare, two spare speeds, which are on your spare terminals. You have three speeds that are set up controlling uh, the actions of the furnace, and that'll leave you two spare speeds. So if you needed to make adjustments as far as airflow in the building or house that you're working with, you'd have to reference your product data to see what CFM you may need or you'd want to get to, along with your static pressure in the system and you'd be able to adjust from there and adjust your speeds uh, as needed. Now we've moved on to a furnace with an ECM motor, a variable speed ECM. This unit is different than the other because this is a true uh, variable ECM motor where it will adjust speeds according to the signal sent from the control board. The wiring on this motor consists of the four wires that are your communicating uh, voltage that are connected at the plug that will plug into the board and then your line voltage which will be your black and white that will be plugged into your line voltage terminals off the board. As far as operations on this motor the setup switches will control your airflow so you would have to reference your instructions your installation guide and that would give you the charts that would decide all your uh, reference points as far as your airflow and where you needed to be set specifically for your tonnages and CFM needed for what you were doing specifically with that unit. You would also be able to control all of that through an infinity or evolution control. So a system like this with an evolution control or infinity control would not need to set up switches uh, adjusted at all, all setup would be done through the control itself. Thanks for watching today. I hope this helped familiarize you with some of the motors on our furnaces, the standard PSC motor, the ECM X13, and the ECM variable speed. Thanks for watching.